All right, guys, it is April 11th, and this call is going to be exciting because we are going to be doing nothing but talking about the VIP Shredders page. And uh, what's so exciting about that is it gives us an opportunity to help um, loyal customers become team members and customers be able to have the same opportunity you and I have by getting our product for free. So um, what we're going to do is be working on verbiage. Um, we'll be practicing kind of going around uh, having different people talk uh, and practice their verbiage because it would be good to be uncomfortable in front of each other as opposed to being uncomfortable in front of a prospect. So tonight's kind of a role play deal. Um, but first off, we wanted to give you all the lowdown on, uh, sorry, my allergies are terrible too, um, all the lowdown on what the Shred VIP page looks like, what it's all about, give you all of the details because we need to start promoting it like crazy in order to make it successful. So uh, we've already put in a pretty significant amount of work into the page. And so it's just going to be up and ready for you guys to use, which is awesome. Uh, Cause all you have to do is actually invite. So first off what the VIP shred page is going to be, and we are going to be refreshing some of this stuff and then, you know, question answers as well. So, um, first off, the shred, the VIP shred page is for anybody. Anybody can be invited to it. It is going to be by invite only. And in order to get an invite to the page, you have to get two customers, two new customers signed up for the shred this go around as a representative. Okay. So two new shred customers that didn't do it last go around. Okay. So new, two new customer orders. So as a representative, that's how you get added to the page. Um, as a customer, same thing. We're asking our customers to do the exact same thing and go grab two buddies to do the shred 10 with. And what's so unique about that is they will go straight to DD uh, right out of the gate. Any questions on those particular details? So, um, so if I get two people to join, only I get into the VIP group? Yep. Or, okay. Okay. And if they want to be added to the VIP group, they need to get two people as well. So the idea is it's going to help grow your team as well. You know, uh, one of our really strong points, minus Jenny, just kidding. Jenny's strong point is building team. The majority of our strong points is getting customers. Okay. So Jenny hopped on. She's a VF. She already has four team members and going strong right? So Jenny's kind of the flip-flop. <laughs> Calling you out, Jenny. You're great at getting team. Maybe <laughs> maybe you ought to preach on how to do that because you're so excellent at it. Um, so the reason why you have to qualify as a representative to be a part of it as well is because we're encouraging you guys to grow your business um, by adding at least two new customers every single month also. And you should be adding more than two customers, but these are brand new customers, not just, not just customers that maybe haven't tried the shred before and they already have product. We're talking about two brand new customers that are going to order products from scratch. Make sense? So it has to be the T120 products? Yeah, same difference as the shred. Yep. I know it's kind of confusing. <laughs> and I have a quick question about that. Um, so for instance, this girl that I just signed up, she wanted to do the whole shred. Um, she ordered the trio of capsules. She was going to do four boxes and she opted for just one box because it's cheaper right now. Um, and then she's going to order more later. Does that count as a shred order since she has enough to do the shred or how do you, I would say yes. However, how did she know she could only order one box? Um, because it was on the order form of the 110 and she wasn't budging off of that. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Well for her, gosh, we talked to her for like seven hours. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay for her. Um, but I don't, uh, Ken knows who we're talking about too, right? <laughs> that gal at the party, the last yeah. one, right? The right? last one. So heck, if you got her to order, she was making it so complicated. It was ridiculous. So yes, yeah, yeah. that would be a new customer. Absolutely. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, usually I don't even give people the opportunity to do that because at the end of 30 days, they're going to want more. That's all there is to it. And what gets confusing is her first month is going to be expensive and her next three are going to be cheap. Right. And the reason I know this is because we used to put in orders like that and you spent the majority of your career as a Juice Plus representative explaining pricing, which is no fun. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of daily know that one with me, right? We spent a lot of time explaining pricing. <laughs> yeah, the big thing, Jenny, to remember if somebody wants to do that, I mean, you know, something like this situation, make them pay for it in full because this way they're not paying in the third and fourth month, third and fourth month for product they don't have anymore. Right. And I and I told her that it was just it was the shipping price, paying for it all up front as opposed to over the course of four months, and she wasn't understanding that. Gotcha. She wasn't understanding a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you got an order. Good job. I'm going to give you yeah, a yeah. on that one because <laughs> thanks. She was a tough cookie. That's all I know. <laughs> all right. Any other questions on that? Okay. Uh, the second part of why the VIP shred is going to be so awesome is Ken and I filmed a ton of different workouts that we're going to be putting together. Uh, for the VIP shred pages. So it's very similar to a workout that I might give my clients. Um, so if you're one of my clients and on this team, you're lucking out. <laughs> but it'll give you some extra exercises that are video that you can do at home or traveling and uh, just go from there. Okay, so it's something that I typically charge for, but if people are getting two, two clients or two customers, I'm going to give that the workouts for free um, and there's going to be five different workouts okay so five workouts during the 10 day shred so it'll give you a day workout day recovery day workout day recovery and you can do it however you want but that's what we're looking for the other component is we're having a chef aka mr jenny <laughs> um, as a guest and he was going to walk us through kind of why why is it so cool that he's going to be doing some cooking for us and kind of what is he going to be showing us and how many times is he going to pop on and, and so forth hello hello what's up i said hello <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's a sawyer what do you so what's going on so just tell us a little bit about, you know, what is unique to you hopping on our VIP shred page and showing us how to cook. What are some things you're going to show us that, you know, we could use to essentially, you know, you being on the VIP shred page is uh, a perk, right? How can we sell you essentially to our customers? Why do they want to come see you? You know, um, I think for, you know, for me, it's a, uh about showcasing just like whole natural ingredients and utilizing, you know, the best products that we have available to us oh. instead of utilizing processed foods, um, stuff with, you know, high in, in cane sugar stuff with a lot of different bad fats, you know, like the oils and stuff like that, which are really, really bad for you and using more like brain power food, foods that um, are just more of vault, like foods that are just more like, whole grains and, you know, like things that, you know, work better with, uh, with the brain and actual development of, um, nutrition. I think it's kind of where I'm going with that. Yeah. Like brain superfoods and, Love you know, it. be able to, uh, you know, take a simple ingredient and turn it into, you know, this amazing dish that you don't have to do a lot to. And, you know, you just keep it simple and being exciting. I mean, I'm not, you know, a huge, personality but at the same time you know like when i get into a kitchen and i start having fun i i feel like people are going to be able to catch on and understand kind of you know what we're or what i'm trying to accomplish you know for you know your guys's page as well perfect i love it simple brain power foods that's what yeah. I, wrote. <laughs> I love it yeah i mean i mean there's there's all sorts of foods i ended up writing a bunch of stuff down today actually and doing some research on, you know, what I think would be great dishes. I mean, back when we were doing the shred, I was doing, cooking a bunch of different things that I think personally would grow great for, you know, the page itself. Um, 
And I don't know, it's like, are you wanting me to provide recipes for that too? And be able to actually have like a section on there with recipes? Um, I would say provide the recipe for the dish you're cooking so that we can duplicate it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and Jenny and Ken and I were talking earlier and we were kind of thinking like maybe you could do one recorded ahead of time and then one do a Facebook live one where we, you could maybe give us the recipe ahead of time and we could actually cook with you while you're cooking, you know, on Facebook live. Just a thought. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. <laughs> and then people can ask questions when it's live. Yeah. Right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. More like a, just a more involved process, I think. It would be kind of cool for everybody. Yeah. Okay, cool. And if we were to, hold on, I think one of my babies is awake. Oh my gosh, she is. Okay. Uh, somebody talk about something. I'll be right back. Sorry. Babies are out of bed. <laughs> So as far as the executive chef goes, so we'll make it simple, fun, brain power foods, and then we'll have one live, one live session where we can all cook along. We'll figure out what day of the shred that's going to be. Um, that's why everybody can promote that. And then maybe doing one uh, videotaped one. We'll see how it goes and, and go from there. Does anybody have any questions about that aspect of the VIP shred? No, I think it sounds really good. Um, okay. I love the idea of it. Okay. So another thing that we're going to incorporate to the VIP shred, I'm working on uh, like a meal plan calendar system. So we'll give them ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and also snacks throughout the day. It'll be the whole 10 days um, put together. So um, they'll also get that as well to go along with um, the workouts and the executive chefs. And I don't know if Kaylee knows this yet, but then me, Kaylee, and Lindsay would be popping in for some live stuff and talking about some different things throughout the shred. Uh, in the VIP section, so. So that meal plan, are you going to include uh, some of the, hold on, some of the food from the guideline too? Like the, you know, the little packets that we give out to everybody? Yeah, it, it includes uh, some of that and then some of the ones out of the um, Healthy Living, Living Revolution cookbook. So it's not so much the recipes, it's just the ideas and then it has the where you can go get the recipe kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So everybody should have that information. Ken, I would just like, um, maybe for like, if I can give you my email address or something and you can email me a copy of what you're thinking, yeah. and then I'll be able to throw together a couple of different recipes and ideas okay. and send them and see what you think. Yeah, for sure. Something you're into. I mean, it's, you know, your call. I just want to. No, you're the chef. So. Yeah. I mean, and I, you know, it's, I, I, like I said, I would just love to be a part of this. I think it's awesome. Awesome. So the whole, the whole idea about the VIP shredders is really to bring the whole program together. We've got the shred, we've, we, we know the products, but the thing that me and Lindsay thought I was missing was workouts and a little bit more like meal plans and like, you know, just interaction more. So that's why we're incorporating the whole program, which is free to people as long as they get on the products. So it gives them the whole, it gives them everything they need to create a healthy lifestyle. There's, you know, there's nothing, there's no excuses why they shouldn't be able to uh, do their best to start a new health, healthy lifestyle. So do you guys have any ideas on that? Um, or I guess, Ken, how you personally are going to promote this? I have a few ideas, but I was just curious if you've already created a, a picture or specific wording around it. So Lindsay's supposed to come up with some verbiage for a flyer I'm supposed to create. And then um, as far as promoting it, um, you know, hit my customers first that did it, you know, and um, see if they have anybody that wants to join them from the benefits that they've seen from it and tell them that, you know, one of the, one of the perks, you know, you can explain the whole business thing and stuff like that. But one of the perks is the VIP shred. And then, you know, some other people I know just hitting them up for it as, as new customers and just getting them, you know, involved in the shred. You know, I think throughout the next shred in March, we'll, we'll kind of, I got to check with Lindsay, but we'll have to, we'll have to see how we can incorporate the VIP shred as kind of like a, uh, a teaser in the next shred for people to kind of be like, Oh, what's that? And then we can kind of explain on that. 
Does that make sense to everybody? Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, great. I love it. Um, huh. I think Hi, it's good. Guys. Hi. <laughs> so would you ever do um, like a question and answer thing in the page? Like what would you guys like to see for recipes or workouts or and try to get feedback from other people? Or are you just going to go based on criteria that you guys have outlined or how's that going to work? Who would we ask? You? The people that are involved in the shred page. Gotcha. So what I think we need to do is we need to find out and I kind of briefly talked to Lindsay about this. We got to find out who's actively shredding in all our customers. Um, we should already have an idea of that, but if we don't, we need to touch base with all them to find out who's actively shredding and who's not. And if they're not, we got to, um, we have to see if they want to shred with us again. Um, I think this first go around, it's just kind of what me and Lindsay kind of put together and see how it goes and see, and then get feedback after, I think from you guys and then from the customers, if they found value in what they, um, the added benefit of the VIP shred, if they, you know, found value in that. So. Okay. Sounds great. Perfect. Thank you guys. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> the toddler in the baby's room. That's always good. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> See, Lens, I told you I do it by myself and it's not always perfect, but hey, you know, Tegan wanted to join. It's fine. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. <laughs> See who says we can't do this business with our babies, right? Anyway. Um, so we just talked about briefly while you were gone about um, kind of that meal plan thing I was putting together. Perfect. And then Jenny's husband wants a copy of it. Maybe he can kind of throw some stuff in there. And then we talked about... Um, during the during the shred to do like a VIP teaser in May. Oh. So you know what I'm saying? Some somewhere like in there. How, however we do it, we'll figure that part out. And then um Jenny asked about getting feedback from the customers as far as like workout or meal plans and stuff like that. And oh, I said sure. this I said this time I think we'll just kind of wing it the way we're gonna do it and then get feedback and tweak it as we go along. Is that what you were thinking? Perfect. No, I love yeah. it. It's great. Yep. So then it's just uh, working on how to invite to it, right? So that's one of the interactive things I wanted to do tonight. Um, so for instance, those of us who have current customers, um, and let's say their order is due to ship out here shortly, um, that's one thing that you can invite them to do by saying, uh, the verbiage I would use. So this is the scenario, right? You're touching base with customers who orders are going to reship out here soon. And uh, the verbiage that I would use, and then, you know, Kaylee, I want you to participate and Ken first, since you guys are more well-versed. And then we're going to go around uh, for those of you who can participate and just go ahead and give us your best shot at it. And like I said, uh, the idea is to be uncomfortable in this call because we're all just learning here. Right, so that when you're talking to an actual prospect, it just comes out of your mouth very quickly and easily. So what I would say, um, either on the phone or, or via text message is, is hey, you know, your order's due to ship here coming up on the, I don't know, 17th of this month. Uh, just wondering if you wanted to change anything about that order before it heads your way. And also in the month of May, we have a wonderful opportunity for you to participate in our VIP shred group. Uh, you know, if they've shredded before, you can get into that. You know, you really liked the shred when you participated before. And our mission is to impact as many people as we can through our healthy living and through the shred. Um, curious if you might be open to uh, hearing how to participate in our VIP shred page by also helping be a part of our mission and impacting health through the shred 10 by potentially inviting a couple people uh, on board to do it with you this time. What do you think? You know, that's way long winded for a text. So that was on the phone, right? See, and I'm just spitballing too. So Ken, Ken, show me up. So, um, I like the voice, the voice mail or the voice text option with messenger. 
so they can hear your um, they can hear you versus reading you and people kind of like that I think it's hard to get people on the phone sometimes nowadays but um, yeah I would connect with my customer and just be like you know you shared with me all the benefits that you saw from this past shred and you know I'm so happy that you you decided to join us and take control of your health um, I was wondering if you may know like a family member or two other friends that might want to see the benefit that you saw with it. And along with that, we're, we're promoting a new VIP shredders group, which is going to be um, above and beyond the shred group. It's going to incorporate some workouts some recipes, meal plan. We've got an executive chef to do some uh, cooking, cooking live demos on there. So um, let's get together and talk about this and uh, see if we can get you into that VIP shred group. Awesome. He totally showed me up. See, <laughs> it's good to hear all the different verbiage. All right, Kaylee, you're up. Maya's going to help you. <laughs> I'm going to oh, help. Okay. Um, so I have one lady in particular. This is who I'm going to direct this towards. Um, so I know you loved the shred. You've been doing it three times now. And you were asking about those free workouts. Well, I have something better to offer for you now. Um, we are creating a VIP group starting in May. And you're going to get free workouts along with chef-inspired meals. And all you need to do is to get two friends to join with you to do it. And um, so let's sit down and chat about it and see who we can share your experiences with. Hi. Awesome. Love it. Who's the next guinea pig? Jenny's next. Ooh, your mom just chickened out. She left the group. She's like, I'm getting off before she calls on me. I should have called on Pam. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, hey. <laughs> I know that you have an order that's set to go out um, in a few weeks and you had participated in the shred group before and you loved it. You saw great benefits and Ken does an excellent job at our shred page. Um, but if we want to kick it up a notch, uh, we have a VIP shred page, which is going to be even better and more amped up with free workouts and chef inspired meals from my executive chef husband. Um, so, <laughs> so if you want to get together, let's talk about it. You just need a couple of friends on board with you. And that's it. I don't know how to end it. <laughs> you can end it a couple of different ways. You can say, hey, you know, just um, give me a text back or you can be let me know what it's a good time to call or get on the phone and, and talk to you about this. Or if you want to take a sneak peek at what we're doing, you know, um, text me back and then we'll figure out a time we can talk. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Who's the next culprit? Lindsay. Like Lindsay. Which one? Oh, Lindsay oh. M. There's more than one. M. There's three of them on M. here. M. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I haven't had anyone shred since I'm new. <laughs> That's okay. So maybe you're just but, introducing it to a new person. So, yeah, so kind of just say, you know, there's this new adventure health opportunity that I've been doing. It's called the Shred 10. I would like to tell you more about it. Maybe he want to join and have some other friends that we may know join with us. Something along those lines, I guess. So, Lindsay, a good thing to incorporate in there is a good say like, um, so I got this new program to Shred 10. It's not a diet. It's more of a lifestyle program. So, you know, I think you'd be a good fit for it to work with, to be account my accountability partner, and we can do it together. And maybe we, both of us can get a couple more friends to do it with us, and we'll have a little group that we can do it with. Yeah, that's Does that good. make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right, Lindsay, number two, you're, you're not off the hook, man. Why? Are you sure? Sure. sure. I didn't just sneak in there and... No. I mean, unless you ditch out like Pam did, you know, just hop off. We can't call. Oh, sorry, I, I can't hear you anymore. I have to go. Sorry. <laughs> Pam, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I think um, since I'm new as well and starting, I think that um, I would probably start by talking about my own experiences with the Shred and how awesome it's been for me. And, um, and it has been a lot easier. So um, just probably so I would, instead of, reaching out to people that orders, maybe I'd be reaching out to friends or different people that I know that would want to join me. So, um, 
I would start by maybe explaining how these 10 days have been such a life-changing experience and how great I feel. And um, the next shred is going to be starting in May and they're going to be offering some better or some more um, ways of getting healthy through um, this VIP group. So if you wanted to join me, because I had a few people join me at the shred this time, so kind of trying to get them. I know one of them wants to continue. So uh, if you want to join the next shred in May, um, they're going to be offering these offer, um, awesome opportunities with workouts and with recipes and having a live chef. And if I know that you know two other people that have watched you and your progress, if you want to join or want more information, um, let me know. I don't know. That was really choppy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. No, it was good. And you know what it, what it does is it allows you to get the choppiness out in front of us. Right? right. And you know what sounded good and you know what maybe you wouldn't in, input in. Right. You also know what, you know, what you liked with uh, what Ken said. Maybe you take some of that. Yeah. I'm going to take some of what everybody's saying because it sounds good. I had to go first. Dang it. Yeah. Um, but it's good to hear. It's good to practice. It's right. Because I just think I know like somebody that I've done this with, they already um, have talked about wanting to do it a couple more times because they're getting married. So they've talked about how awesome it's felt, but I'm, I feel like some more bridesmaids or different things maybe would yeah. want to join in, especially since they've seen how awesome we both have done and how um, it's made us feel overall and how I think easy it was. I think we were both kind of nervous about kind of giving up some things and I think it's been definitely um, easy fulfilling definitely and made us both feel really awesome so and Lindsay you remember right Lindsay remember you're not you're not striving for perfection in your verbiage okay <laughs> you know those little quirks and stuff are perfect because it just makes you genuine okay awesome thank you good point good point <laughs> Mallory um, I've had a couple of suggestions from the the audience here that I should be <laughs> pretty nice <nice>. word. <laughs> Do you give an F about your health? <laughs> um, but I won't. Um, so I am thinking specifically of two people who have uh, one has done the shred, one has ordered the products and not done the shred. That's a couple, and so just talking to both of them, um, and just like Becca, I know she loved the shred, and just saying like. Becca, I know you. I know you really love the shred, and I know you want to do it again. Um, and I think it would be really awesome for Brian to join with you because he's your boyfriend and he cares about his health as well. But we have this really great thing going with the VIP group um, that's a little bit different than what we have been doing. We're actually offering workouts by um, a personal trainer and recipes for healthy living by um, a chef, and so. I would love to have you guys see if you can uh, find two people or let me know who you think would want to join. And I would love to talk to them about the shred. If you give an F about your health. <laughs> I love it. Coming from the Catholic <laughs> recruiter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's funny. Ah. Kim got off too. She dodged. She's dodging. Oh. The bullet. That's hilarious. Oh, I can. I'm sorry. Can I interrupt one really? Quick? Please, please. I do. would like you guys to meet Jess. Hi. She's actually on my team. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jess? So she's been listening to this call, yeah. but she's too shy to practice. I just got back so. from the so I didn't hear everything. Hey, fair enough. You you can go listen to the recording. That's why we record these things, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, this is such an amazing opportunity to, you know, not only increase, you know, our financial security for every single one of us, but also um, to help others do the same thing while getting healthy. And it's just kind of an additional perk in order to do it. And I think every single person on here you know, like Ken had mentioned, imperfections and all, it's just a matter of kind of stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit. It's uncomfortable. That's why a couple of people got off the, off the call. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's why they got off the call. Um, but it's uncomfortable to do that, and it's uncomfortable to be put on the spot. But yet, we need to practice it so that it um, becomes comfortable, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, so if you guys think of it like walking, 
right? We didn't know how to walk. We kept falling down. We kept falling down. But every time we got back up and eventually we started walking and then we started running. Same thing. Just takes practice. The more we practice it and the more we get that lingo down, the more second nature, it's just going to come out of your, come out of your brain. Perfect. So I actually have a quick question. Go for it. Noticed, so like talking to people about Juice Plus, um, I, I can't strike a balance between like, I, not, I wouldn't ever say I'm forceful because I'm not forceful, but like with like family members, I don't really feel like I come off joyful. I'm just like letting them know how much I love it without like inviting them in. Okay. And then, so that's one thing is like, how do you be more joyful with it? And then I guess the other question is, I, a lot of people I talk to, they're like, yeah, that sounds really great, maybe in the summer. And so I don't, like, how do you kind of engage them back in? Or do you just not? Because it's just like, yeah, I feel like what I'm doing is like giving really soft pitches and not really like giving them a good reason to buy. So I think, Mallory, there's, there's, there's no reason why you can ask those people, well, why wait till the summer? Okay. Because your, your, your summer body is made now. Right. So, I mean, that's just always the way is just ask why, ask another question of okay. why, why they might be waiting. And for your, for your other question of people too is um, you're, you're a storyteller and your story, your experience with Juice Plus is what you're telling people about. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're going to identify because everybody has a pain of one, one sort of another and you're going to, they're going to identify with that pain in, in you, in your story, wherever, wherever that is, you know, however you got involved before, what the reasons were, uh, what happened, what transpired and what you truly found out about the product and where it took you and where it's going to take you. So, I mean, that whole thing right there is just your story. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, your certainty and your genuine, genu um, genuality, genuality will come out when you start expressing your heart. Mm -hmm. When people, when you start expressing your heart, so think of this, when you go out on your mission and you're talking to people about Christ, mm -hmm. if you talk about it, this juice, I'm not saying compared to you, but you talk yeah. with that with a lot of passion from the heart, mm -hmm. you know, that's where juice plus is going to come in your life too, because you have a story from where you started, you went through a transition and you've had some good results that comes from that heart space. Yeah, totally. You know, totally. and, and the heart energy travels a lot further than the brain energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that connection will be made. So. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't, Does that help? I, a, I don't have a better answer than what Ken just said. Um, no, I would start that with help. questions also. The more questions you ask oh, people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you be quiet if you're going to be down here? Okay. The more questions you ask people, the more you know where it, where you need to fill a void. Does that make sense? Like you're, you're muted. We can't, I can't hear you. <laughs> I made a really excellent point while I was on. That's funny. Sorry. I was yelling at Tegan and then I just kept talking. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Take it just one second, okay? Um, when you ask questions, you under you get to figure out where their need is, mm -hmm. where their pain is, where their hurt is, right? Like rather it's a financial need or a health need, mm -hmm. and you get that by asking questions, and then you can fill in like with, with what Ken said because you genuinely care, and it comes from the heart that. I'm sick and not doing well. And my kids are sick all of the time. And it's a real thing. It really is. Even on Juice Plus, right? <laughs> I'm sick of sick kids. And like, if someone were to come to me right now and I wasn't on Juice Plus, I would like, dear Lord, give me anything you got. I am so sick of having sick children that I just, I'll try anything. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so you guys have to understand that, that like, that's my pain right now. Like, I just want to sleep through the night. You think they'll get better by taking juice plus cool. Let's order some, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but you don't understand that unless you ask me questions. Right. Okay. Great. So good question though. All right. Anybody else got anything? Got anything? Um, I have a question. Um, I know there was discussions about doing another happy hour at the end of the month. Yes. Or some, yeah. what, if so, what is that date and time so I can get it scheduled and invite? Uh, Jenny, do you care if we mix, open it up again? 
Um, I, I think that's fine. Um, it just depends on how many people. Um, cause I know I'm inviting at least like 12 people. My mom's got 10 and I don't know how many my sister does. Okay. So I just, I don't know how many will fit. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Hey, Lindsay. Yeah. What if we make the happy hour, like a uh, taste of the shred. And so all the reps will bring like a shred dish. Oh yeah, that's it's doable. For sure. I think Jenny was more. We can think about it. The, the room, yeah. right? Like if there's not a like standing room only wouldn't be a bad thing, I suppose. Yeah, but that's not the worst contribute thing. Contribute to the food and wine and stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, I don't. I don't see why not. Well, one of the things we were talking about is I think it was so successful because there was so many people there. Mm -hmm. and everybody saw the people who were signing up and the ones that weren't and there was a bit of positive peer pressure going on, you know? Um, so what we can do is let's just put it out there to everybody and see how many people were getting RSVPs too. And, uh, if what we can do is make a flyer without an address, you know, we could say in the Littleton area. And then if, uh, you know, it gets crazy. We can come up with a location that might work for everybody. Yeah, we can maybe use my clubhouse or something if it gets oh. be too big. <laughs> hopefully that's the that case. Would be, hopefully that's a problem we have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, right. What right? right. date is this? You said the end of the month, so. It's Tuesday, April 25th from 6 to 8. Great. And guest speaker at 7. Okay, awesome, thanks. Uh -huh. You're going to include that this time. <laughs> I think that's a good addition. Um, my husband, who doesn't eat healthy at all, said he can guest speak if, if we would like him to. So. <laughs> that would be like my husband guest speaking. Maybe they could do it together. Perfect. <laughs> For I'm like in the peanut gallery tonight. This is fun. <laughs> um, I do have a quick question about um, adding people. Um, if I find somebody um, that's only doing capsules, let's say, because they can't do shakes or they don't want to do shakes, if they found two people, can they still be added? Okay. I would say so. Do you guys agree or no? I would think so because they're still adding people to the group and potentially becoming a rep. In the and what are your thoughts? I think it's a good thing because the fact is they're going to see what, what we're up to. It's going to give them a little bit more. Um, the more interaction the shred posts get from everybody in here, as far as what they're feeling, how it's going, and all that, is going to promote that that um, sense of community even more. That they're not alone. That that this community is really truly a community, and we're all doing this together. Yeah, I would say so. Good question. All right. Anything else? What's he talking about? What he talks about. Mr. Jenny's talking about something. Mr. Jenny. Mr. Yeah. Jenny, that's just, that's his name. Sorry, that's all I got. <laughs> that's okay. My, my husband's Mr. Lindsay. It's fine. Who are you you can call me Matt. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you guys were talking about the, uh, the shred, or no, not the shred. Sorry. Uh, hors yeah, the hors d'oeuvres for, you're talking about Taste of the Shred on Tuesday, April 25th. Can would you mind if I do something for it? No. And like, um, would you? I mean, would you mind if I actually did a couple different things for my job, and I could cater a little bit there? Go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, if you want everybody to bring a couple recipes, that's that's or a couple hors d'oeuvres, whatever. That's awesome. I mean, I could provide a couple things as well. Probably Tuesday nights cool. usually aren't so busy for myself. So nice. Sounds good to me. Okay. Great. Right on. Ken? So I had one more thing for everybody. Um, I was listening to somebody the other day, and, and they came up with an acronym called uh, WAIT. Why am I still talking? So when you guys ask people questions, remember to pause. It's a hard thing to do, but pause and wait for their answers. So for instance, like, you know, you, you just meet somebody and be like, hey, you know, Hey, what's going on? You know, tell me a little bit about your life and then wait. People love to talk about themselves. 
So they're going to start talking about themselves and that eventually is going to bring them to you about what's going on in your life. And that's going to give you the invitation to um, talk to them about what you heard their pain is and how you can incorporate juice plus into their life to help them with that. So just a thought. So just remember the acronym of wait. Uh, why am I still talking when you're asking questions? Be an active listener. This way you'll pick up all the clues of their pain and how you can help solve those pains for them. Awesome. Love it. I think we covered some really valuable things that are going to help uh, everybody promote it. And then the happy hour is just going to help uh, seal the deal. So we worked on the invite and then the happy hour, I think, would be the close. Right. And we can certainly talk about it at the happy hour. And hopefully we got to move it to the clubhouse or someplace. My backyard is fine, too. I mean, it's going to be nice. So. Yeah, if it's nice enough, we could use my parents' backyard too. It's big yeah. enough. So. Cool. Yeah. Just no water balloon fights. <laughs> we'll try to keep it under control.